On today's episode of Identity, current affairs anchor Dumelo Mututwane drops by to share her wisdom with us. We hang out with members of the Buidumelo Project in Hillborough, Johannesburg. What's Happening features the review of a maths education app and a movie about the power of prayer. And Nati wraps up the show with his hit song, Nom Vula. An individual with an imagination My inner faith illuminates innovations In a space with infinite inspiration I was born free from all incarceration Incredible, living infallibly Intelligent, outshine with my inner being This is me, impeccable as ever been I am you, you are me This is my identity Good morning and welcome to another exciting episode of the show that aims to put a spring in your spiritual step. This is Identity and I'm your host Viwe Kuala, spending the next 30 minutes with you right here on SABC1 Mzanzi for sure. Before we kickstart the show, in light of the current water crisis that our country is facing, let us remember that it's our duty to make a contribution towards the preservation of water. We as the Identity team would like to encourage you to do your bit to save water around your home, office or community. It's now time to indulge in our spiritual coffee shop menu that we've prepared for you. To help us to get into the swing of things, let's meet today's inspirational guest. Today I have the honor and pleasure of introducing a young woman who has a passion for media, youth development and empowerment. Dumelo Mututwana holds a Bachelor of Arts in Media Studies from the University of Witwatersrand and is currently one of the youngest members of the News and Current Affairs fraternity in South Africa. You may know her as the charismatic anchor of Mzansi Fushul's Sunday Live or as the host of AM News on the 24-hour SABC News Channel. She also sits as an executive board member and project manager of the Young Women in Business Forum. There is clearly more to this young woman than meets the eye. Dumela, welcome to Identity. Hey, thank you so much for inviting me. Okay, let's start it from the beginning. Tell us about your childhood and your upbringing. Well, I grew up uh, in a very small township called Lewahomo in the Limpopo province. I was first raised by my grandparents while my mom was um, you know, trying to make ends meet and trying to find employment. And um, from then on, you know, obviously I moved in with my mother and um, did my high school in Limpopo. And in 2007, um, we relocated to Midrand, go Tembisa, because my mom had found a new job opportunity in Johannesburg. And um, from then on, you know, obviously I studied and then went on to take myself to varsity and mm -hmm. my career than he looked. Hmm. So your name Dumelo is a testament of faith. Right. Please tell us about your spirituality in your childhood and what role does spirituality play in your life right now yeah. as an adult? You know my name is, is, is came at a time in my family when my family had just lost um, my older aunt's twins. When my mother was pregnant with me, my grandmother's the one that named me Dumelo. Mm -hmm. And she said, through faith, I will survive wow. because she is a Christian woman and we were raised in a Christian family. Mm -hmm. So my name is very, very dear to me because it comes at a time where I brought faith and hope that, you know, through me, through my life, I would exist. Through my life, I would bring hope to the family. Mm -hmm. Through my life, I would actually, you know, sort of calm my aunt who had previously lost her baby and sort of give her faith and hope that she will have more babies. So I come from a very rich Christian family and yeah, we were born like that. Sure, wow. So, so you know, in a day, I'm like looking at you, I'm like, do me a novella. It is a testament of faith. But yeah. then you went and you did a degree in media studies. Yes. What inspired that? I've always wanted to be a television presenter okay. growing up, but at the same time, I was confused because my grandfather was a social worker. Mm -hmm. So I knew that I wanted to so sort of help people while pursuing my talent of being on TV. I, I wanted to be a presenter with substance. I didn't just want to be like a, a one hit wonder or someone that brought instant gratification and therefore you forgot about what we spoke about the following day. So when I went to school, um, I knew that, you know, especially because my mom was also a great believer of whatever that you wanted to do, you need to study in. If you want to be a DJ, go study sound engineering. If you want to be, you know, a chef, you need to go learn how to cook. Um, so I decided that I wanted to do media studies and also do psychology. And while I was doing that, that's when I pursued, you know, my career in television. So I could study, you know, sort of the human behavior and study the psychology behind how human beings think. Mm -hmm. So I could practice it even when I, you know, sort of pursued my life for television. Okay, so this is how you got onto the community station. Yeah. And then you went on to become the youngest member of the news fraternity. How you, big is that? That was actually by chance. Really? I mean, when I, it was during the 2010 World Cup, I remember all my friends, everybody was out watching soccer. I wanted to go out and watch soccer. I wanted to go to defend parks. 
likes and whatnot. But because I had this burning desire of being on television, it haunted me. I couldn't sleep. It literally made me cry because I knew that I wanted to do this. I knew I was capable of doing it. But because sometimes we want things to happen at our pace and not God's pace, it frustrates us, you know? So I said, you know what? I'm not going to entertain so I'll watch the highlights in the <laughs> evening. During the day, I'm going to sort of write emails to every production company that I could Google, that I can think of and tell them about this passion for TV. And this one I got into community TV and you know they obviously were quite impressed with my CV which had uh, my pictures, my demo, a motivational letter as to why I thought I was a worthy investment um, in television. And um, it was while I was there that actually the SABC was looking for news anchors. And I remember the executive producer of the community station at the time said, I think I have the girl. But the problem is she's only 19. <laughs> and we all know news anchors and are older yeah. counterparts, yeah. you know, 40s, 30s. I'm not sure, but you need to try her mm. out. And that's when I was actually discovered. Dumelo, you're a guest presenter on Chatroom. Mm. How have the principles, the spiritual principles of ethics and morality, how have they shaped your perception in terms of yeah. your spirituality? They, they've, shaped, they've shaped me a lot. And I think what I appreciate the most about the Chatroom is the fact that they bring that human element into the show. Um, you know, on a regular basis, I interview politicians, you know, social change agents, people that are sort of at the top. Mm. And there's that bottom top you know relationship between them and South Africans so it's very interesting for me to actually see ordinary South Africans going through ordinary stories such as Nyaube affecting them um, skin bleaching whether to grow natural hair or to have the bob like freeway um, so I like how there's that personal touch to it and I've, I've grown a lot from that because you get to understand how you know ordinary people operate what the spiritual background is how other people influence how they think so it's also great to also see how experts come into play and bring different perspectives of you know the topics that we are dissecting at the day. Wow, that's amazing. So speaking about media and how you got into it, yeah. I want to find out about your philanthropy. You right. know, I know that you're a person that would offer their help in organizations. Mm. How important is it for young people to actually do that and volunteer in organizations? Yeah. It's very important. I think we live in an era where with Instagram, with Twitter, where people constantly tweet and Instagram materialistic inspiration, mm. we forget that, you know, true success is actually making an impact in somebody else's mm. life. I mean, I remember my teachers from now who were my coaches in debating today and how that has impacted me in being a the public speaker that I am today, mm -hmm. in being the television presenter that I am today, people that gave me a chance. I remember that more than the dress that somebody bought me. You know, I remember that more than the you know birthday right. card that somebody yeah. bought me. When you volunteer, when you mm -hmm. give, when you are of service. So um, I also give this to one of my, um, you know, I give credit rather to one of my high school um, life orientation teachers um, who actually instilled in us the spirit of giving. And she was just like, kids, um, every weekend we're going to the Samaritan orphanage, Kopolo will be giving away um, you know food will be cooking will be cleaning sort of relieving the mothers they take care of the kids so if you are interested you know come and be a part of the group and I thought you know what I don't have a life you know my life is boring <laughs> so let me go and, and, and just sort of like keep myself busy yeah. and it was through you know volunteering at the orphanage that I learned the spirit of Ubuntu the spirit of giving um, you know how fulfilling it is how priceless it is to actually give and actually give your time and give your skills give your knowledge if you're well educated in mathematics you could you know practice maths with some of the kids and I've, I've done that from high school um, when I went to VITS I was part of the VITS volunteering program I was part of you know an HIV and AIDS organization known as Atraversiamo and you know it, it was just part of you know knowing that in life I would rather be remembered more for the time that I shared and gave than you know the little materialistic things. Mm -hmm. Speaking side. about Atravesi, I mean, please tell yeah. us a bit about it and your role in it. Well Jabuli Kumalo is the founder of Atravesi, it's an HIV um, and AIDS sort of program where you know people that are infected and affected by HIV get you know counseling, um, get moral support, get more education, awareness campaigns around it and I mean when we met I was already in the media industry so Jabu felt that that um, I would bring the media aspect into it, sort of assist her with getting the program, you know, sort of acknowledged and recognized um, nationally, and also just volunteering my time. I think when we are on television, we underestimate the power, the power. and influence mm. that we have mm -hmm. um, on people that are watching yeah. um, us on a regular basis. And it, it's that influence that, you know, she felt that I could add and just being able to talk to people and share my story um, around how I was able to work my way to where I am today. 
serious. So let's get into some fun and games, shall we? Just relax a you bit. Know you I know I have a life, so uh, I'm not fun. No, you have to be fun. For mm. this part of the show, you have to be fun. Okay. Are you ready? No. <laughs> Well, you have to be ready. Okay. So the name of the game is called Guess the Person. And you need to guess oh the person as quickly as possible. Do we? Okay. So are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. He was South Africa's second president after Nelson Mandela and hails from the Eastern Cape. Tabombik. He's a superhero. His weakness is kryptonite. Superman. He was a military strategist who assumed the throne of the Zulu kingdom. His mother was Nandi. Shaka Zulu. He lives in a pineapple under the sea. It Ka better be SpongeBob. Thank you. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah, I, was like, gonna, I thought no. Dragon Ball Z now. <laughs> She's the youngest member of the country's current news fraternity and is the host of One Day Leader. Oh my goodness. Timizi. 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 Timi, thank you so much for joining us on thank Identity you so and with such an inspiration. Keep it up. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's time for us to take a quick break. When we return, we head straight to Hilbert, Johannesburg, to experience how the members of Mutumelo Project are making a difference to the lives of those around them. And be sure not to miss our media review segment, where we'll be featuring an app to help improve your math skills and a movie that sheds light on the power of faith and prayer. See you in a moment. This is my identity. This is my identity. Welcome back to Identity, the multi-faith magazine show that aims to educate and entertain you, leaving your spirit energized. I'm Viwe Kuala. If you just joined us, you missed out on an inspirational talk with philanthropist and current affairs anchor, Dumelo Mututwane. But worry not, as we have more edutainment coming up. Today's regional story takes us to the streets of Hillborough in Johannesburg. Our team spent the day with members of the Buitumelo Project and Outreach Committee as they celebrated and showcased artwork by the inner city youth. This is my identity. The Johannesburg neighborhood of Hillborough is notorious for its high crime rates and overpopulation. But amidst the hustle and bustle of the inner city, a group of individuals came together to create a safe space for the Hillborough residents. This gave birth to the Buitumelo Project. It was started in 2001 by a lady called Esther Chabalala and she had a vision to start a sewing project. And that's how it started, a very small project, 12 women, a tiny room, some donated sewing machines from the old age home in Richmond. Initially at Boitemela we had more the elderly ladies joining us and then we noticed we had younger and younger people joining us. So what you find is that the elder women and, and some like my age or older start bec becoming mentors. And it's that conversation that takes place in the making or the learning process that there is a lot of exploring that or untangling all of the issues from peer pressure, drug use, early pregnancy, um, religious issues. We have a music school, we have a theatre school, we have arts and crafts available, we've got a fantastic um, computer centre that does basic computer training, getting people ready for the world in the corporate space, we have a youth centre, we've got Kids Week and we've got really good counsellors that are available to talk about any issue. Our curriculum includes at Boitemela a very deep component that is about self-realisation, your self-worth and finding out who you are, so your own identity. And we try and map your world and your own experiences. I have noticed very much through the handwork and, and that connectivity to do something with your hands, you do develop develop a sense of your own spirituality. So the spirituality runs much deeper than just a religious spirituality, but they run hand in hand. But your handwork, that, that crafting, whether it's knitting or embroidering or creating something, it does do something to your inner self. We want to inspire people, even if you come just for the six months training, the basic training, to come and learn something. It will help you for the rest of your life. They arrive on time. They have to apologize if they're not going to be there. They have to understand and write their own CVs. They have to enroll at the computer school to do a computer program. So we do all of these things that we have in place at the Outreach Foundation, including a counseling service to help with issues. And even if it's just the six months, you've learned enough for the rest of your life. 
The change that I've seen to the young people that, uh, to be here in Witumelo, the first thing is the behavior, the attitude, and a, a perseverance of doing things, being creative, wanting to know more in all things that they are doing, and they are so interesting of learning more from the craft. Erika Kimsheva, Kimtalukile, Mohana is at Intediza Hale, Wawunta. Because of how Tapping into people's creative sides is at the core of the organization's beliefs. It was with this in mind that they put together Hey Hill Bro, Let's Lala a colorful event to showcase the talents and crafts of those involved in the Buitumelo project. Hey Hilbro Let's Lala is a project that came very enthusiastic together with various role players and it's a very exciting day. Leslie Perkins was an artist that worked a lot and her passion was in Hilbro and to create street art and street activities. Um, to bring people together to be great. And we at the Outreach Foundation felt that we have to take her vision further. So we created this day as a festival for Hillbra. I'm sure you're going to make TV in Zagalayo, who's over Guna Vandaba Tensayo, Guna Vandaba Kulayo, Navanto, and others of the Pacity Pata, celebrate Tabum Nandi, enjoy Langa Lam Shine. Oh, Mam Erika, she's like a mentor to me. We mentor about where we are born in Seven Zuami, what I do, my artwork, you know, and she uplifted me, inspired me to come and exhibit here, you know, and do more craft work. Yeah, so I know the future of tomorrow. What I've learned is that it's good to come together and do something together. Even it means you guys are not doing different things, you're doing different things. But at the end of the day, it becomes one. So and it has empowered me to, to, to be more of who I am because I'm not doing it only for myself, but I'm also showing South Africans and people out there that you can also do it. Young people come out of school and they're not ready for the harshness of the real world or the professional world. So the training that we offer offers some um, business skills and social entrepreneurship skills to help you to set up your own small business or set up your own small co-op. And those are very important things for us that we are able to give people a different sense of themselves but also what their ability is to do something out there. This is my identity. Enkosi kwe Erika na malungu ebu itumelo project mbo kwa bela na natinge bali labo nukungata ukwenza ihilpro inda wa apo kona ulucha lunga lola uluazi nubukiko luabo. After the break, we jump straight into our What's Happening segment. Today we're reviewing an app to help you think quickly and enhance your math skills. We also check out a movie about the power of living a prayer-filled life. Don't go away. This is my identity. This is my identity. Nisabukele inkubo etandwa kakule mzanze inkoleza shukene i identity kwa napa ku SAPC1 dingu viwe kwala. If you've just joined us, here's what you've missed out on. Philanthropist and current affairs anchor Dumelo Mututwane got the show off to an inspired start. We then tapped into the arts with members of the Buitumelo project in Hillbro, Johannesburg. Now it's time to check out today's media reviews. This is What's Happening. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where your numeracy skills seem to have escaped you? Well, it's never too early or too late to sharpen your mathematics skills, and today's app will help you do just that. It's called Pure Math. Pure Math is an educational app that helps with practicing and improving math skills through addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Choose an option, select the play button and get practicing. The faster you play and the more correct answers you get, the more points you score. If you get an answer wrong, you lose 500 points. The more levels you pass, the more difficult it becomes, keeping you on your toes. 
Need to take a quick break? Select the back arrow and the game is paused, giving you options to resume, restart or quit. The app stores your player information and allows you to pick up where you left off at a later stage. It also gives you the option to reset a level, meaning you can start practicing from level 1 and work your way up once again. This app is suitable for all ages, be it children, students or parents. Practice and improve your math skills by getting yourself the Pure Math app. To all our school-going viewers, why not spend your holidays practicing numeracy with this handy app? Now on to our next review. Mother Teresa once said, prayer is putting oneself in the hands of God. Today's movie tells of just how powerful prayer is. It's called War Room. Dude, I can't get a pass from you. It'd be easier to baptize a cat. I just need you to blow off a little steam, okay? Tony and Elizabeth Jordan are the epitome of success. They have great jobs, a beautiful home, and a wonderful daughter, a seemingly perfect life. But behind closed doors, their marriage is falling apart as they drift further and further away from each other. Can we talk about this later? You must be the real estate agent. Well, it's so good to meet you. Let me show you the house. This is my favorite place in this house. I call it my war room. You wrote prayers for each other. An encounter with an older, wiser woman sets Elizabeth on a path towards a life of prayer. She introduces her to a prayer war room concept and encourages her to have a prayer strategy for every area of her life. But will Elizabeth win the battle for her family? Find out in this tale of faith, hope and the power of prayer. Call us to battle. reminder that on the 14th of March, the Christian community will be celebrating Clean Monday. Clean Monday is the start of Great Lent in Eastern Orthodox churches. It's a day of strict prayer and fasting and is observed in relation to the 40 days that Jesus spent fasting in the wilderness. We wish our Christian viewers well at this time. with social media yet. Funu Identity TV Show ku Facebook, Twitter or kanye ku Instagram. Kastumeli email ku identitytvshow at gmail.com. That brings us to the end of today's episode of Identity. We hope you've been inspired by today's guest, insert and reviews. Let's hook up again next week at 11 a.m. right here on SABC One Mzansi for sure. Today we play out with a track called Nomvula by Nati. From me, Viewer Kuala and the Identity team, have a blessed week and remember to be water wise. Goodbye. Give us your tendon, your lubas tendon is lalimatunge. Dibanjuangu, your lubas tendon is lalimatunge. Go with law, your lubas tendon is lalimatunge. Denziwangu. Ya luba standa ni silale matungi Pazali ba Ndibize lendu na mfula wa Tetani na aje Itani imbi leja Pazali ba Ndibize lendu sitando sa Sitanikuso, itani ibileta wana. Sitanu sam, zalaishi mo de masimini zalaisha.